All right, in our last video, we cut out our clouds here. So now we are going to glue them on. So I have not written my words on mine, so you just have to pretend. So I can show you how to do this. So pick out one of your thought bubbles, hold it in your hand, and then flip it upside down, and then get your glue stick. And there should be about this much showing. This is about the thickness of a quarter, and if it is not showing, you can twist it up. And if there's too much showing, you twist it down. This is how much I want to show, okay? So now you are going to turn this into a sticker. So this is the back of your thought bubble. You're going to just glue the back of the thought bubble. Very good. And then put set the glue stick down next to you. And then flip it upside down and place it where you want it to go. And we're going to do that with each of our thought bubbles. So we don't glue the whole background and then stick it on. We don't place it and then glue on top. I'll show you how to do it one more time. So flip over another thought bubble and take your glue stick, make it sticky on the back and then flip it back over. So now let's do the rest of our thought bubbles. Okay, the music is off, so turn your voices off. I want to show you something. If you guys want one of the thought bubbles to come off of the paper, that's fine. But when you flip it over and glue it, are you going to glue the whole part of it? No, really just the part that you want to be on the paper, okay? Because we don't want to have glue on something that's not going to touch the paper. So see how I just glued the bottom half of this? That's because I want the top half to be sticking out. Okay, if I glued all of this and put it down, then I would have gotten glue on the table. Okay, that's all. So you can have them coming off your paper if you follow that rule. All right, and that's it for this video. Good job, everybody. See you in the next one.